Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are heading into We Must Eat. Gonna get the bumper crop, and we've got our party. We've got a bot. Uh, we've got a positive thing in here because we've got the um, resolve and the warrants on the next quest. But this one also gives us extra damage on the next quest, I believe. So we should be pretty good. Let's go in. Maybe this will this will get us closer to clearing the bot to the boss. It won't. I don't think this is gonna get us to the boss, but it might get us to eighty percent progress, which seems pretty good. Right. Here, we're going to take in, it's a medium one, um, we're going to take in roughly the same food I took in last time. Um, we don't need to take any blood this time. I didn't take it last time either, but we don't need to take it this time. Um, bandage and light both seem like worth taking a couple points in. I don't think we needed the medicinal herbs. Um, Lodon, yeah, we don't need that one. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we should, we're pretty good. Just did a little second to double check. Let's go in. We're a little bit lower leveled, but we did send along a, um, yeah, we sent along a vessel to heal them up. But that's okay. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Okay, so I think where we want to go is we want to go down into the center. Hope we get a scout to there and there. And hopefully a, a double scout. So we get a scout in all directions. Uh, it's very unlikely. Then we want to basically just find grain sacks. And we probably want to rest when we hit here and we go into this section. Okay. Now this time, this thing last time just gave us loot. So I'm interested whether it always gives loot. Hmm. Didn't give a negative. That might just be a loot uh, thing. Okay. Uh, awful. Awful to be surprised there. Um... Definitely go for the stun, I think. Nice. Here, well, he's fine to continue what he's doing. I'm going to debuff on the ghoul because we're going to be moving around a lot. This a devastating what? blow. That basically just lowers the damage the ghoul's going to do. So we don't need to heal as much. Okay. The bleed's a little annoying. Move back too. And now we're kind of in an okay situation, I think. We could stun, I suppose. Or we can just hit. That's a potential 25 damage. Yeah, okay. Oh, well. They dodged it. There's the drums. I could have also removed the bleed there, but I didn't think it was necessary quite yet. Right. Um, could stun this guy. Do we, have any, we don't have any negative stuns this time, do we? No, so it is a 50% chance stun. Or we hit him for 17. Or we heal. Um, Try for the stun. He dodged it. Okay, it still raised the, light, the torch, which is the nice. Promise of safety. Stack up the debuff, just so that he does even less damage. There's Howl, which doesn't do damage anyway, but he missed. Right, smite him. 30. That's reasonable. Oh, it's because he's unholy as well, I see. Sniper shot. A Perfect. Victory. Perhaps the turning point. Um, Mace Bash seems like it could be good, but also stunning him. Just because we can. It was 90% chance, but whatever. Let's not worry about it. Uh, heal. 44 crit. Lovely. And hit him. Decimated. Nice. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We appear to have a lot of crit chance in this party. Just judging by the amount of crits we got, but that's good. Oh, grain sack. That's what we're looking for, right? Nice. Now, the negative with this one is that we're going to end it with lots of stuff in our inventory, but so we're probably not going to get a lot of loot. But that's fine. I'm heading this way in the hopes that we can get scouting on those two sides. Uh, we'll just use the torch. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Loot. Nice. We'll take it. In we go. And scouting, please. Oh, we got a pillar. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. We had full torch twice. That is actually ridiculous. Okay. Um. How far forward does this take him? Forward one. Okay. Uh, stun. Perfect. 
Yeah, don't like that. Oh, we dodged though. Back two. It's fine. Uh, stab him. Zealous accusation doesn't have a chance of a kill, but smite has a chance of a kill. One off. Wow. Okay. Dodge that as well. Good. Ah, uh, don't like the vomit. That's okay. Resisted the disease Weakened. though. Yeah, don't like that. Really would prefer him to be back a little bit. Who to heal? I think damage is probably our best one. Hmm. Probably suppressing fire, because I don't think we're going to crit them. Yeah. Just try and make them miss, basically. And then probably... Uh, how far does he move? can he move back? I can't remember. Uh, I have no idea. I think we're going to move forward this turn, in the hopes that he can move back too. It's not great. He can move back too. Perfect. So we can move back into our formation. And he can start doing what he needs to do. Right. Uh, Zealous Accusation is the obvious one here because it gets us to it gets us a kill and damage. Press this advantage. Give yeah. them no quarter. Okay, now we're at the front. I don't need to heal because he's gonna self-heal and he's not taking enough damage. So we want to do damage. Uh Illumination's probably not gonna do anything for us. So yeah, just hit him. Fine. There's vomit again. Chance of a disease. Didn't get it. That's fine. Good. Okay. Self-heal. 42. Nice. At least we're critting. We may be getting surprised every time, but we're also getting the bonus luck on the crit. Right. A decisive pummeling. Stack that up for the minus accuracy. At least it's double on there. I guess the first debuff didn't uh, apply on that one. Okay. And then just hit. Ooh. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Ow. Okay. Vomit on him as well. Okay. Heal. 18. Don't care if it bleeds or not, because he can. he's going to remove the bleed anyway. Yep. Uh, Mace Bash. Not a kill, but getting there. That's going to be a stun. Yep. Okay. Uh, continue suppressing fire. We could potentially kill them now, but that's a lot of miss chance they've got on them. Perfect. Right. Remove the bleed. Kill. Their formation is broken. Deliberately Maintain use the AoE the there, so we could potentially kill that corpse as well. Uh, I knew we were getting disease with the amount of vomit that was hitting us. Uh, I want to see what the Grey Rot does. Probably not very nice, but we'll check it anyway. Lower damage, but an accuracy. Raised health is okay, but I wouldn't take the damage. It's the wrong character to have that on. Uh, I think healing is a good one here. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Especially given our healer was kind of out of it. Yeah, just kill him. Ah, uh, didn't work. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clear the corpses. Nice. There's the hook. That's fine. Uh, kill him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Heal. Thirteen. That's okay. Ah. Uh, right, we'll bandage again. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That was awful. But okay, we did it. I forget what this one's used for, but I think it's good. No. Definitely not good. We didn't get scouting either. I guess we are going to head back this way. Right, raise the that. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. We got our dodge. Alright, in this way. No grain sacks. It could be in that bit there, but it's unlikely to be. Right, we'll walk back down. So now we're walking down this way. 
in hopes again that we get some scouting, which we still have had zero of. In radiance, may we find victory. Hello. We have a chance of stunning him. I think it's a good idea. It's fifty percent. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Nice crit. Let call summons the things. Are these unholy? They're eldritch. Okay. Um, we might want to try just killing them. Could also try just killing him. Um. Yeah, hit him. Well struck. Okay. It's fine. Zealous accusation. Confidence surges nice. as the enemy crumbles. Okay. Stun. Nice. Okay, so we get a turn of killing these two. Abyssal artillery is not going to hit. We don't need to heal. Weakening curse is pointless. Although it is on for a couple turns, I suppose. This does extra damage versus Eldritch, which is really annoying because the Eldritch are not able to be hit by this. That also does damage versus Eldritch. I'm going to move forward because I think it would be useful if I can hit things with them. Actually, he should be forward 100% of the time, but that's fine. Um, Yeah, shoot. Okay. There's Headhunt. Which we're okay with, hopefully. Another Headhunt. Dodged. Nice. Zealous Accusation. Just keep up damage. Um, Yeah, now we just want to kill one. Okay. Not good. Another Headhunt. That's a lot of damage and a bleed, I assume. Nope. Okay. Uh, shoot. Okay. Well, you know, I'm loving it. Heal. That's awful. Okay, and then he summons another one. So I guess we want to just kind of shoot him, maybe, if we can. I am going to remove the ban. I'm going to remove the bleeding as much. It, it's not great, but... And I think we should just smite. That gives us a better chance of killing them anyway. Yeah. And just clear them out with our Crusader, and then the others should probably focus on the Collector, maybe? Or at least our... If he's just going to keep summoning, yeah. I guess we should um, mark the Collector and then just keep shooting him. That's probably best. Yeah. Okay. Uh, heal here. Although if we could Abyssal Artillery at some point, that'd be lovely. Right. Sniper's mark. Get it started. Okay. That hit. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for him. That one. Head kit. So that's the guard, right? Yeah. That's okay. Uh, self heal. The wounds of war can be healed. But that kind never of hidden. Yeah, I really don't like this fight for us because we have no way of we. Okay. And she's got lower damage. I forgot that. Yeah. And we have to just spam healing on our vessel. Yep, might as well raise our stress a little bit. Sniper shot. Just start piling damage in. Zealot's accusation, I think, will hit the highwayman anyway, so I think that's a good way to deal with this. Yeah. It, I would have liked it if it had killed them, obviously, but... You know. Whatever. Keep her healing up. A momentary abatement. Right. Abyssal artillery allows us to potentially kill and does damage the collector. I think it's better than a heal because nobody is he low enough that uh, the healing from this is going to be worth it. Right. And at least it's damage on the collector. We can't keep getting stressed. It's not going to work. I mean, yeah, he might get... He's got a fairly high virtue chance, but still. Shoot. Okay. That is annoying. And another bleed, huh? Yep. 
Oh, double dodge. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> What's that? That's the mark, then a heal. Okay, that's annoying. Yep. Mortality clarified in a single strike. What the hell is this fight? Right. I'm out. I'm right. I need to heal because we can't run away on this. Right. We can run away, a but abatement. I needed to heal. I don't want to run away on a healer's turn. If you understand what I'm meaning here, because if we can't run away, I don't want it to have messed up that turn. In terms of healing, I kind of want to heal again. Hmm. We can't change these in combat, can we? No. Hmm. Are we going to run? Seems like the sensible move is to run, but this is also a healer's turn. So. Just heal up a little bit. I want to run on the crusader's turn. Essentially is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Let's try running on the crusader's turn. Although that is a nice heal. We might be good. We might have pulled ourselves out of it. We dodged the life steal, which is nice. Head hunt. Okay. We're still okay if the Crusader can actually get through some of these. Right. I don't think we need to run. I think we're okay. As long as we can keep healing. Unfortunately, we are in a permanent healing cycle right now. So she's already got the healing received. I might put that onto him. Just stack up that. And then our heals are more effective. No. Unnerved. It crit again. It crit again, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Yep. We should run. I, my brain's tell me that we should run. But at the same time, I'm like, but we could potentially win it. But the thing is, he's just going to use the thing that summons all of these guys again. Even if we manage to somehow get through all of this, like... Somehow managed to whittle it down so that these guys go out. We can retreat. True desperation is known. Only one escape is impossible. Well, that is annoying. Okay, heal. Another 12. Okay. The bleed is stacking again, so another heal. A please. momentary abatement. Okay. Okay. Well, yes, please show me your collection again. This is very impressive. Right, heal. 27. There we go. And now it's like maybe we could fight it again. Okay. Heal again. <laughs> Stack up the healing received. And then that happens, and you go, well, maybe not. Okay. I want to retreat. But, at the same time, we could kill that highwayman. Retreat. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. Okay, so we're not done unless that's where the... No, we're not done. We can avoid... Yeah, we're not... We haven't failed the mission. We've just failed the fight. That's okay, yeah. I, I think I think that's probably the best way to handle this. Now, I'm going to walk here, even though we're a little bit... That's going to hurt a lot, but... I'm going to try and heal here. Yeah, we'll eat. Whatever. We have scouting, please? We can't have scouting. Okay, well, that's fine. We, can f we could firewood, but I'm going to go one more without using any torch raising. Okay, dodge that. That's fine. Can we have the loot, please? Thank you. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Right. Now, I'm going to go this way. Grab the torch. Nice. Keep going. Okay. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. 
No. That's fine. Just want to know what we had here. Now we're going to walk all the way back. You see what I'm getting at here? But now we know that's where the collector is and we can just walk around him. I'm tempted to just let his stress go up to max because he does have the virtue chance raising thing on him. There is a chance that that just leads to good... Oh my god, the trap came back. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Yeah, we should just rest. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Prayer. Lowers stress if religious. And gives prop. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We have lowered stress, but we do have any eight more AoE lowered stress? I don't think so. That's raised stress. That's not really what I'm looking for. Healing on one companion. We can heal all companions, which actually seems good. Although she needed the healing the most. Um... Oh yeah, this one. Everyone lowers stress. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay. We have one point. Do we have anything we can do for one point? No. We're going to get nighttime ambushed, right? No. Okay, good. Well, next room. Part two of our mission. We know there's no grain back. Oh my. There's so many traps. Right, we know there's no grain back there, so we're okay. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Okay. Ooh, we can make pre potentially get the meat hooker. Because we actually have stress thing. Uh, lowering stuff here. Right. Heal. The flesh is knit. Exactly. The flesh is knit. Right. Lower their accuracy. Illuminate. That didn't work. Okay, well, I love it. Um, yeah. Dell's accusation. Fine. There's the hook, which we dodged. Spit to roast, which we dodged. That's looking good. Ball and chain. Hits directly. And it didn't stun. Nice. Another attempt. That one did hit this time, unfortunately. No blights, though. Right. He's too far away to hit, I think. Good heal, or we can bash. Bash. The fact that they dodge everything is a continual thing I hate. Tide turns. Okay, right. Sometimes it just works out, sometimes it doesn't. I think abyssal artillery is a reasonably okay choice here. Precision and Good. power. There's a hook. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Okay. Uh, smite. Okay, suppressing fire again. Nice, that's lowered accuracy still. Uh, self heal. Nice. Good, the extra, the extra bleeding's not so nice, but okay. Right, there's cripple them. At least we got one dodge, I guess. Um, I want to heal, but I also want to hit one of them for damage at some point, you know? <laughs> heal. At least this one, they're not healing, so actually healing continuously is a strategy. Okay, don't stun. Don't stun. Don't stun. Oh, okay. Oh, there's healing continuously as a strategy. We hit! Didn't kill, but still a hit. I'll take a hit. Right, um... I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, she does have lowered accuracy. That's fair. From her disease that she picked up in the dungeon that also lowered her damage. But, at the same time... It's a little... You know... Starting to get a little bit graining on how we miss every single ability. It's like... It doesn't actually matter what button I click, because they'll miss. Okay. Smite them. Nice. 
Okay, we do have the ability to remove the blight, at the very least. Heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Suppressing fire is actually not a bad plan. It's an 8% chance of killing of killing that guy, and it's a guaranteed if it hits chance of killing that one. Right, we didn't get the 8% chance, but overall I'm okay with that. That's fine. Heal. Okay, well. At least he has dodge, I guess. Butcher cut. Right. Hit him. That was so good that we actually hit. Another two healing there. Does she have reduced healing or something? She does. Okay. Uh, suppressing fire is a kill if it hits, so we might as well. <laughs> Can't do one damage to him. Heal. Right. Look where it hurts. Another bit of damage. Okay. Ripple them. Dazed. Reeling. About to Crit. break. Crit. Just gonna point that out there. Just to add insult to injury. At least it healed for it for more than zero. Okay, suppressing fire. Impressive. No, it's not. It was a crit for two. Butcher cut. Dodged. Okay. Hit them. Right. Heal. Fifteen. More like it. Getting in the right direction here. Mace bash. The ground crit. quakes. More like it. There is spit to roast again. It missed. Right. Zealous. Hit him. There's one left. Hit him. A powerful blow. <sighs> As victories mount, so too will resistance. I'm not even going to talk about how we didn't get scouting. Okay. Right. No scout. Oh, there we go. I'm actually very mad because we got scouting and it told us that the quest location was right next to the star. Okay. Disarm. 60, 60, 70, 70. Please disarm the trap. Nice. I, would, I need another rest. Is this a long mission? Right. Find the grain. We're done now. We can move back. We know that there's no quests down there, so we can head this way and get the secret room. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to switch her over to Divine Grace. Well, what's it, where can he heal? He can heal in any spot. Hmm. Yep, I'm going to do it. Right. So we're doing this. Switching her over. The Divine Grace. That's, that's what we're switching her to. Right? The same stuff that we have on every other healer. Uh, for her. Right. I'm going to switch him over. From Abyssal Artillery to Demon's Pool. Because that's also leveled to max. Now he can do damage at the front. She can heal. She's more effective. I'm just spamming heal on her. So this is a more effective party. He has 62 dodge. So in theory he should be fine standing at the front. Also I just realized he got stunned with an extra 50% stun resist. What is this stun resist? 120%. If the normal stun is 140%, they so what we're saying is he got stunned probably with 20% stun chance. <sighs> That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yes, I'll eat. Don't, don't worry about it. We'll eat. Where's the torch as well? Give me an easy fight. Also, this is how difficult this bit is with us having extra damage. We have an extra... What, um, 33% damage or something? Yeah, 
No, resolve. We have an extra 15% damage just on top. Just naturally. Okay. I got rid of illumination and it immediately gave us a fight with illumination. <laughs> okay, right. Um, Drag this guy forward. Nice. Kill him. One hit, one kill. Okay. Heal. A momentary abatement. Shoot him. One hit, one kill. Okay. There's vomit, which we managed to dodge, admittedly. Accusation is the stress over time. So he's definitely going to be stressed to the max. Exposed to a killing blow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. Huh? The end approaches. Yeah, at least that was a dodge. Then Doomsay for more stress. Well, at least we can self-heal now. Okay. Stab him. Oh. Right. That's a positive. Sniper shot. Kill. Okay. Let's take guaranteed damage where we can Such here. A terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Virtue. Uh-huh. I just want to see. Can we see his virtue chance? Uh, no. So if we see... So it's 15% higher than usual, though. Okay. Just thought I'd have a quick look. Oh, nothing else? No, nope, that's fine. Just checking nothing else had any virtue chance on it. That's fine. At least he got a kill. Wait, does his damage go up because of his affliction? That I would be okay with. His damage has gone up by 20% because of his affliction. I mean, okay, in terms of what he's got, that's pretty good. Abusive, that, that that's okay. Right. He's just uh, mean to his teammates. Shoot him. Consistent damage. Heal. A momentary abatement. Heal. Yeah, well, we knew that was happening. Clear corpses. At least he can do that successfully. Right, there's a hook. Mm-hmm. Right. Stab him. Uh-huh. Heal. Uh, heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Consistent damage. A dizzying blow to body and brain. I'm ready. Yep. No way that was not being uh, a negative. Right. Hit him. You have one job, and you're not very good at it. There's a heal for 12. Yep. Kill him. Okay. Clear corpses. A singular strike. And it hit. And it crit. But that somehow raised his stress. And made him fearful. How? Wait, I missed how he got Fear stressed and frailty from that. Finally claim their due. How did he get stressed from getting stress lowering? I'm very confused. Does he get stressed when he crits or something? Ah, oh, no. Right. Consistent damage can't hit anymore. I guess it's not that consistent, is it? Right. Heal. Soothed. 
sedated. Stabbed. Okay. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Yeah, a victory, I guess. Right. I wish that didn't trigger when you were trying to move people around when you weren't in combat. That seems foolish that that would trigger. Right. We don't have a key. Open it. It's just money. But I'm going to get rid of that. Right. Are they actually mad that there's money? <laughs> okay. Grain sack's going to be in the next room and we can leave. You know, we can hope. It's going to be in the last square I go to. Oh, you can just... Uh, <laughs> sod right off. Right. Stab him. Okay. Fine. At least we're able to dodge. Shoot him. Good. Successful. Solid. Heal him. Right. Once again, good, successful, solid. Oh. All right. Please give them the curse. <laughs> then they can do damage. Okay. Well. No point pulling, because he's already out of range. So I guess we stab. The blood quickens. There's Skewer. Ah, dodge. And he got stressed because of it. He got stressed because he managed to successfully dodge something. Kill it. <laughs> Just kill him. Just kill him. Okay. Right. Heal. Soothed. Sedated. Heal. Shoot them. Kill them. Right, another one down. If they can just keep aiming for the one who can dodge, that would be great. Okay. Stunned him, huh? Right. Please don't run. Stress is almost as bad. Cool, because that will get rid of the corpse. And that means that they're both in the front. It didn't apply unless it hit. doesn't apply unless it hits. Okay. Heal. Shoot them. Consistent damage. Right. Skewer. That's only for eight. And it is a bleed. Which is okay. But it's fine. You had Vigor? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Okay. Hmm. Stab. Masterfully executed. Okay, you can only heal, so I guess heal duty. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Stun? Or judgment? Judgment. That at least is a heal. Yeah. Smite him. Stab. Another crit. Okay. Okay. Judgment. We're getting there. 
Step by step, we're getting there. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. What momentum? There's no momentum here. Right. It's in the next room. Brain's in the next room. We're getting scouting. You know, you can dream. Yeah, we'll eat. That's fine. There's a box. Boxes can't be bad. Okay. Never mind. I was incorrect about that statement. It's the grain sack. Get me the hell out of here. Right. For a second there where it didn't pop up quest completed, that would be perfect. Let's just leave. Our supplies are replenished. The soldiers will feast tonight. Yeah. All right, we got 18,000. It's not too much. We didn't get a lot there either. But we at least got the XP, right? They're all leveled up, and I never need to see them ever again. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we she got two diseases in one thing. That's fine. Uh, and a negative of minus percent crit on range skills. All right. And they all got and the two got weld things. I like it. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. On the positive side, at least we get free supplies next time. Right. Well, you're. Which one are you getting rid of? You have so many diseases. Johannes, get rid of the Black Plague. Anyone else diseased? No. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, now we get rid of the people who are stressed. So why don't you... Why don't you... Uh, do peace through meditation. Not sanitarium. And you... Yeah, go to the brothel. That's fine. This mass. You apparently need to get stress relief. What happened? Uh, why don't you pray to a higher power? Right. Perfect. Uh, what are we going to do now? I just want to check this. Yeah, nothing there we want. We should probably upgrade it at some point, but that's fine. We could keep reducing the trinket cost, I suppose. But it's really this one's what... I imagine they're going to give us better trinkets as well over time. Uh, I am going to pay for that, actually. Idle, amulet, or lucky charm. The simplest object can be a talisman against evil. Just because in time, I think that's going to work out. Also, we get a lot of crests, so upgrading that seems good. Right. Embark. Okay, we got 40% progress. I do want to go back to the Warrens, as much as that might sound incredibly stupid right now. Let us see what we got. This one looks nice. Accuracy prop. Very odd one. Kind of a crusader item, I'd assume. Hmm. Written accuracy is interesting for the hunter's talon. Uh. Yeah, these are long missions, which I'm not sure are great, but 18 deeds is not bad, I suppose, for a mission reward. Okay. Let's take out a strong party. Uh, first of all, actually, let's um, unequip all trinkets. And sort by that. That's fine. So sort by level. Let's see who we got. So if I was to take out a really strong party, who am I thinking? I'm think I think Hannah needs to be a part of it. Also, wait, look how many people we have with the Crimson Curse. Maybe, actually, maybe this is the time that we start heading into the Viscount's lands. Because we actually have so many people who are cursed. Yeah. Yeah, th that seems good. Um, Let's take Hannah. Elena. I think that's fine. Uh, Bostel and Dambor. Instead of Bostel, I kind of think Tim would be better. But Bostel gives us pure damage. But he's not really good for scouting. The problem with Bostel, right, is that he gets a lot of stress. He gives a lot of stress to other people. So you really don't want to be using him for... Um, 
Yeah, you don't want to be using him for scouting around places. I mean, Rigo was the one we took in last time. And Rigo's fine. Absolutely fine. But I don't think Rigo's who we want to take in. Fiona we could also take in if we were after... Get, if we want to try and get something out of it. But it seems like we just want to go with... I don't really want to do another weak party after the previous one, really. It seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, equip him. And if we take all the people in who already have the curse, we're not worried about getting cursed. So, we're not... Are we taking in uh, Tim as a healer? Potentially, yeah. So, we probably don't want to give him a healing lord. Uh, we'll give him more max HP. Which is good, so he now has a positive in terms of HP. And... Hmm... Do we have anything else we want to get? We could give him dodge, I suppose, which is quite nice. It only increases his stress. It's kind of the perfect one for extra stress, you know? Anything that gives extra stress is almost ideal on him. The bleed resist might actually be okay. I mean, the only problem is that he's got the um, Crimson Curse, so the disease resist does nothing there. Could increase his healing skills, but it's not really a worry. Could take that one, but that, no, that lowers his bleed skill chance. Not that it matters much where he's going. Uh, the extra damage is also nice, but he doesn't really do damage. He kind of does stacking bleeds. Damage versus bloodsucker, so that's a Dambor one, definitely. Um, Lord damage? Actually, isn't the worst idea I've ever had to lower his damage. Damage at death store, death store resist, health. Maybe the Martyr Seal is what we want for him. Yeah. Right, Dambor, who should actually be in that slot, because we would like to start him in that slot. We're going to give you Mercur Mercurial Salves for the extra damage, and then is there anything else we can give him? Well, we could give him one of these damage bracers as well. Yeah, I suppose. Like, just insane damage. Because that's an extra... That's 45% damage buff, just straight off the bat. Right, her... Uh, do we have anything for her? Uh, scouting chance. Now that's huge, taking in here. Yep. Ranged skill accuracy. Ooh, if, don't tempt me after the last one. Actually, you know, we'll take it. Good, extra dodge as well. And then we'll take the scroll, and we'll take the healing, and we won't try and mix things up. There we go. Right, I think we're ready to go. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.